What up, kids? It's tricky. Um, I want to do a quick little rant about actually uh, beauty standards or whatever we're calling them nowadays. I can't. I'm having trouble finding the image, so I might might post it later. But um, there's an image floating around of these young women who are just probably fresh out of Berkeley, um, wearing what essentially amounts to as a trip through an English closet mixed with a go-go dancer that's actively vomiting from an overdose of ketamine. Um, my point is, it seems that in, in attempting to thwart modern oppressive beauty standards, which are put forth by Victoria's Secret, Sports Illustrated, all these extremely skinny models with huge boobs and large posteriors that are, you know, obviously more attractive than your normal woman to a point which is no longer attainable, in attempting to stop this um, oppression on women, we've kind of rounded the bend to a point where you're actually using the same standards, but you're making them into a negative. So you're still following rules, even though you're pretending to be a punk and thwarting all of these things that your father would have held dear to just, you know, get back at your parents, gotta get back at the man. But you actually have drawn on eyebrows, your bangs are cut up to here, your hair is chartreuse, you're wearing black and white herringbone, I literally am nauseous looking at you because you don't look like anything that a person looks like. It's, it's really getting to a point where I don't understand how we're still doing this, and I'm desperate for humanity to come to a point where it's like, you know what, screw it. Suits, hats, ties, Victorian dresses, we're going right back to the old imperial architecture style of traditional human aesthetic. You, you, there is actual inherent beauty in a fit human being's body. That's awesome. That's, that's something that should be aspired to. You are a piece of nature that is at this hierarchical point at the top of a, of a food chain. You can literally create anything that you want by just imagining it because you're a human. And we're coloring our hair highlighter yellow, wearing a bunch of opposite colors, and then, like, taking pictures of these young women looking like they're gonna take a shit on the street. I don't understand. You're, you're rebelling so hard that you have become a cancer, and it hurts me to look at you. I don't get, I don't get it. it and it goes beyond beautiful at any size. It goes beyond, like, you know, accept people that are different and then you mean someone that like lost their eye to cancer when they were a kid. That's easy to do. That's an easy thing to do. Have you ever met someone that has like facial scarring from a horrible burn when they were a child or actually lost a piece of their body or something that actually makes them different? It's very easy to integrate them. Occasionally even you can crack jokes about their, their ailment because that's the way that they have learned to get on with their life. Otherwise they would spend their time dwelling in misery over what has happened to them. For you to be, oh, you have to embrace everyone who's different and then just spray paint your shit with a bunch of colors and, co and patterns that like no human being would ever put next to each other because they physically hurt to look at. It's something else entirely. You're, you're just trying to be as offensive as possible to people who think the same way as someone that you're angry at. You are unable to separate your personal feelings from your viewpoint on the world and what and how it should be treated. Essentially, these people are so childish that they dress like a clearance rack threw up on them. And it's almost hilarious if it weren't for the fact that they want me to pay for their birth control. Anyway, little four minute rant. I'm tricky. It's tricky. Truth is tricky. See you later, kids.